this man has been through so much adversity. You've come through with a smile on your face, <laughs> nothing but respect for, for your journey to this point. And today you stood here as a World Cup 2021 ambassador. If someone had told you this five years ago, would you have believed it? No, not all. It's not even a year ago. Like, um, like with wheelchair rugby league, we never thought we'd be kind of get to this stage now where we're kind of going to be on the same platform as the men's games and the women's games. Even a year ago, if you'd said to us we'd have someone in this position, I, I wouldn't have believed it. I'd have, or if, if they said it was going to happen, I wouldn't have believed it till I'd seen it. So yeah. it's huge for the game and it's huge, huge for us really as a sport to kind of to get to this level here. Yeah. James, you had a life-changing incident whilst on tour, uh, serving your country, and after that. You've, you've taken that, you've been so positive and you've got yourself, when a lot of other people would, would shrink away and be, be, you know, be in turmoil, you've you picked yourself up, you've carried on fighting and now you're playing for your country, representing England in wheelchair rugby. You must be so proud, firstly, to pull on that England shirt. Yeah, obviously playing for England means means it's incredible. It's, it's something I never thought I'd do and I never thought it'd be, I'd even go down, down this route, but kind of... Representing England and rolling out there with that shirt on, knowing the, the greats who've worn it before, then singing that national anthem and boom it out as loud as you can. It's, it's a huge, proud moment. And like I said about, about my journey, um, yeah, I was, I was at the peak of my life, of my career. I was physically fit, I was young, I was ambitious, I was in the army, I was going around the world doing things and experiencing different things and seeing different things. And then just roll the dice. Obviously, I got injured, lost both my legs, and and then started a whole different journey there in a different chapter. And, and even when I started playing wheelchair rugby league, I didn't think I'd get to this stage. So. Yeah. It has been a crazy journey and it's taken a lot of weird random turns but obviously I'm here now doing this and, and I couldn't I'd, I'd I wouldn't change any of it for the world now. You told this story about the Brown brothers, and one thing I wanted to get across to the viewers is that anyone can play wheelchair rugby. It is the most inclusive sport in all sports in the world. Tell us, firstly, a little bit about some stories like the Brown brothers, and also, how do people today, if they think, you know what, I want to play the World Cup, but you've got two years to get ready, yeah. how do people play wheelchair rugby league? Yeah, so, it's, like you said, it's the most inclusive sport out there. Um, Able-bodied players, disabled players, um, men, women, um, athletes from the age of 12 up to kind of, I think Rochdale had a player who was 70 years old playing for them. Do you know, an ex-soldier, yeah. ex paratrooper who was playing for them. Um, so it's fully inclusive, anyone can play. And, and obviously I play for England now and, and we have like an, a performance unit and if someone started playing wheelchair rugby league, um, there's a pathway, so every year we, we kind of reselect players, we try and get more people into the uh, elite performance unit to yep. kind of get them onto scratch and, and there's always an open door, so if someone started playing now, if they were good enough and they were athletic enough and they had the ability, there's no reason why they can't aim for 2021, do you know, wow. everyone's fighting for their shirt at the end of the day, do you know, so yeah, there's no reason why.